Very nice. Let's see what Cholas actually have now. Oh yeah, get the Mooring Blade. If you got a thief, you can get the Mooring Blade and the ultimate dagger, which is very very nice. Let's see if actually any someone else can take it. Classified for weapon, isn't it? Where is it? Yeah, I'm gonna play throwing weapon from Thief. I think it also Ninja can take it. Pretty sure, actually. I don't think anyone else can. Nope, definitely, definitely not. Now, let's see. And the good thing is, I didn't have to use the elixir or anything because, as you know, after every boss fight, you're gonna get healed up fully. So we got all our MP back and can use it against the, uh, the next boss. Should be around here. Corner is it? Oh, which way? We oh, we're going. And the very end, we go on every way, so why not? And there is Omni Rod, which, as you see, there's no boss. Ah, I knew there was not gonna be in the rod area. Now, inflict scratch, and I think we can cast like um, break with it. And if we can, I'm just gonna attack and look if it just works on attack. And what the crap is that? Osinus. Looks like a more powerful enemy. Let's see. Nope, we cannot cast with that. However, if I get low on on MP, then I just use that and should do some damage. And see if it goes petrification. I'm gonna use Aroga and you just attack. Okay, Ingus is back with his nice damage. Um, some enemies, most enemies in here have like some um, they're actually strong against like physical damage. So Luna and Ingus don't do that much damage, and spells also don't, because yeah, they're not that powerful. But still, it should be no problem because man, enemies they're not much of a threat. Did I just poison him? Or why did he get damage from that? Go, oh. Aga. Use Cura, and that should do the trick. Come on, kill him! Kill him! Boom! There we go. He's dead. Hopefully that gives me some experience because all, everyone else in here doesn't. Uh, still doesn't give me any, that much experience. No, we, di we didn't actually heal up, did we? No, we don't. It's very awesome that if you use the sage, you can use black magic and white magic. So sort of powerful. Let's see. This is like the ultimate. Uh, yeah, Massive Moon, the Mystic Blade. The ultimate weapon for Dark Knight and Ninja. So let's get that thing. And we gotta fight. Is that your Jimbo? No, that Kun. That's actually like the female the Jimbo Kuno Iji. Also a ninja, so be very careful. Because ninjas are very very deadly and I actually feel like you can throw um, stuff at you so be double careful. Alright well let's see how much damage we can do. Mm, quite nice actually for fighting a boss. Oh, of course. Like everyone else. Oh it's gonna like three rounds. And like I've all every other ninjas if you attack they like poison, and uh, I don't have I don't have time to cure that poison now. Considering that she just three attacks and we just um do inflict it again, we just try and heal so to negate the damage, negotiate whatever, so that it's not that powerful anymore, and we can just heal and heal away the damage it does. Oh, it goes first as well. Oh, haste. Oh, this will be so powerful. I don't got the spell. Ah, I don't have got. Ah, I removed the spell from Ark. No, I can't dis the um, the spell um, that haste. Ah, oh, this will be one heck of a fight. 
I can use my powerful spells and all, Soul Leader every round. Because I need to kill her. Now the bad thing is that Ink is actually blinded because I think it always does blind and poison. Ah, oh, this will be one heck of a fight. Okay, Quite not powerful, let's try Bio. And of course Kiraga every round. The good thing is that she doesn't do that much damage, but with um, haste, she may be able to do some burst damage if, the, if she does a critical. Yep. Definitely she does. Kill that critical if you got haste. I don't actually know if we can kill ourselves with Soul Eater. And I actually don't want to try that out. However, oh, there goes our Kiraga, where everyone's full up again. The poison doesn't do that much. Okay, Bio is only a little tad stronger. But I don't have time to find out the elemental weakness by using every spell on there. So let's just keep on using it and try and kill her this round or the next round. Actually do more damage than on the other one. You're still not gonna kill me. I'm just gonna heal up. Boom! Yay, we got her. Because Little Fingers did loads of damage there. Because as you know, ninjas, they are... They don't like being attacked by physical attacks. Because they, they, don't have, they don't even have any armor. And you know the drill and all that, that female characters don't get that much armor. Like the, the male knights, they have these like full shiny armor and all that, and the female just got a little brass plate and all that, and that's it. Gotta watch that, like everywhere, all the games and all that. Whatever. We now got the Mazamoon, and it's got a crap loads of, um, of attack. Now, now we're gonna get, uh, after that we're gonna get the ultimate sword. And that actually, you can also equip that, and it's actually gonna be like Ragnarok. Whatever, wait a second. And then here we have another Phoenix down. Oh, it's the next level with some more secret weapons. Actually, uh, the only purpose of Eureka is just like experience, items, and of course, ultimate weapons. So after we got all the ultimate weapons, we can just walk out of here. There's nothing special to do here. Okay, there should be the next ultimate weapon right ahead. Over here and over there. And this one is the ultimate sword. No, it's Excalibur. Whatever, everything's the same. Excalibur with a sword from like that little lake with that hand comes out of the lake with that sword in hand. Like, hey, King Arthur, you can get this sword if you want to. Like, okay. And takes it. Whatever. Oh yeah, Excalibur is not the sword from the s that was stuck in the stone. Maybe I'll be like, yeah, stop bragging with your wisdom and all that, but still. Everyone says that, but it's not. Now, actually, I don't care about people saying that Excalibur is the sword from the stone, but I actually saw once like this little, this little show that was like, and this was like um, some science show and they like investigate on the myth if Ar King Arthur that, that all was really true and all that and find some stuff out and they said really that Excalibur was the sword and the stone all the time like some scientists like guys who studied history and all that and they still claim it was the sword and the stone and that made me so mad are they like, if you say that it was not, that most of people be like, crap, you're lying and all that? I don't know. And where was, where was I? Oh yeah, General. He seems to have crap load of exp uh, attack power. But he just gets two attacks, and if you use Kirak every round, you shouldn't be able to, to kill everyone, to kill someone. Only if you gets, just get like two crits on the same person, but that won't happen. I don't actually know why he's got a shield, I mean he still gets crap loads of damage by release on him, even though he does seem to have a shield. Quake seems to do some damage. 
Let's see how much bio it does. Of course we heal up and hopefully it, it casts it after his attack. Wait, where have I been? Oh yeah, it's Excalibur, not Sword of the Stone. The Sword of the Stone was just some just some random ordinary sword and it was like whoever pulls it out is gonna be king and he's like boom I'm so so powerful oh my god I'm powerful oh my god and he just pulls it out and you're like okay you're king whatever now that does actually a bit more than quake some let's use this and you know what you can use cure I don't need to use curaga just do that much damage. Guess he should be dead soon. On there, there he's dead. What a weakling!